well hello hello thank you for joining me again today and today is series one episode five and today I'm talking about stress slash chronic stress and how detrimental is it really to your body now we've all heard about stress and detrimental stress we've also experienced it no doubt particularly the stress levels I hope too many of you haven't experienced the detrimental stress but what we need to understand is the two of them are very, very different. So it's actually okay to, to have stress from time to time because it actually, um, it gives us a burst of energy. It gives us the ability to achieve things. So too often those situations come up, um, look, there's two that come to hand that, that, you know, stressful situations that come up. One of them is public speaking, which so many people just don't enjoy doing. And the other ones, you know, if you're in competition and, and that's when your, you know, your adrenal glands come, you know, activate and, and they push you right through. So it's okay for that to happen. As I said, you know, the adrenal glands, they release the cortisol and the, and, and the adrenaline. And so therefore everything comes into play. That's the way we've been designed. It's the fight or flight mode. And you've no doubt heard of that over time. What that is, you know, it goes right back to our ancestors and it goes right back to you know the caveman days when when people were out looking for food and you know they came across predators and so therefore in order to save their lives their adrenal glands would activate and therefore they would go into fight or flight mode and hopefully save themselves and of course everything would go back to normal once they got to their camp or whatever it was and all was well so we are no different today you know we're pretty much doing that as well and it's also healthy as I said it's okay for our body to get into fight and flight mode so I use the analogy with that when um, you know, it's like it's like the backup system of um, your home or business, whereby if your electrical power goes off, the backup system kicks in, and that's what happens with our body as well. So when when we actually are in this fight or flight mode, we're in the high stress levels, uh, or for that particular moment, chronic stress level for you know five, ten minutes, half an hour, whatever it might be. It all kicks in, a supply comes in, it allows us to get through to the end and then when, air, when we calm down, we truly calm down and we go back to normal. That is healthy. When it's not healthy, when it becomes chronic stress, when it's actually detrimental to your entire well-being is when you have to live with that fight or float, flight mode every single moment of the day pretty much that you're awake and and then it's obviously detrimental to your health big time because you've got no time that where it just settles down for you so what it's actually doing is it's, it's affecting your gut bacteria it can cause irritable bowel syndrome it can cause um, uh, heartburn look there's just so many different detrimental feelings that we can have in our body and, and we know that it's coming from chronic stress where we get no relief from the way that we're feeling that overwhelm that we're feeling so it affects our decision making and our concentration and so many other things and then as it builds up as we get no break with with that chronic stress situation we become more and more unwell you know we begin to deteriorate and 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 We've got no no ability to actually improve on 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 having that rest time and that that time out, um, and so therefore we get worse and worse and worse. And what's happening is our cells and our hormones know that we're not getting a break, so they start to weaken. And of course, we have no control over that. So it then starts to cause the the possibility of disease and of course that's exactly what we don't want in life because that stays with us and affects us right through um, through life so so what it actually does also chronic stress is and we don't often think about our brain but it actually is very detrimental to our brain and it can in fact actually shrink your brain so it's a scary thought that that can happen um, in that front cortex of the brain, but that's exactly what happens with chronic stress. So if you're living with day after day, week after week, month after month of no let up, 
you can be almost guaranteed that that frontal cortex of your brain is beginning to shrink and so therefore again comes the detriment of your ability to cope um, your, your, your ability to manage your decisions and your concentration and all those styles of things so so those hormones then can travel through your bloodstream and they will travel through your bloodstream because it's natural that hormones do that so when the cortisol adrenaline you know travels through your bloodstream where it's going to go is into your heart because blood goes through your heart and into your brain so can you imagine can you imagine what that's doing to your heart as well as your brain so when it comes to your heart what's happening is there's that possibility that it's going to have plaque build up through your arteries and of course we know where that's going to lead it's going to lead to not only an increase initially of blood pressure but it's a possibility that it's going to cause a heart attack. So we don't want that, we need to avoid chronic stress. So on top of that, you've got your headaches that'll start, your hair loss, you can have acne that comes from it, your libido, you get more irritable. So they're the early stages of chronic stress when you're maybe six months in, something like that. When you're longer term in, when you're years in of chronic stress, you would know, you would know that your body has worn down, you would know that there's been detriment internally to your organs and cells, you would know that it's had detriment to your brain, but it all can be reversed. That's the beautiful thing. Now, before I go on to that, let me also add, has it, or ask you, do you think it's got detriment to your waistline? Well, the answer to that is yes, it does. It's got a huge detriment to the waistline because what happens is our bodies, as you know, as the cortisol and adrenaline comes into our bodies, we actually, it's a hunger hormone that's released as well. So therefore we're looking for comfort foods. We're looking for foods such as, um, you know, the, the, the high carbohydrate, calorie dense foods, those comfort foods of pastries and cakes and biscuits and chocolate and all those things. So of course, we're starting to gain weight, little bits all the time where we don't really notice initially. But what we aren't seeing is what is happening to our organs as we're eating the wrong foods. It's the additional trans fats that are being absorbed and, and all the fat that's going around our organs. And that's the yellow fat, the very dangerous visceral fat that we absolutely must avoid if we want long-term wellness and longevity to live as long as we possibly can. So you can see, just from what I'm saying, I'm not telling you things that I think are happening in your body, I'm telling you things that are actual facts, proven scientific facts of what's happening in your body. And so if you're in that chronic zone, we can reverse it. Now, we can reverse it through two ways. One is through active uh, elevation of heart rate and using your muscles through through resistance work and that is exercise of course. Now a lot of people don't enjoy exercise but let me tell you, find something that you do enjoy because the effects, the, the beneficial effects on your body are tenfold tenfold to your longevity so why would you not be doing it if you know it's going to extend your life so and it's going to be able to fight all that chronic stress that we're talking about today so using resistance work your own even your own body weight you know wall push-ups and dips off a bench and you can find those things on my youtube channel these things are going to assist you to fight um, chronic stress and then the other one is um, relaxation methods of yoga or um, or meditation that are really really beneficial because you're it, you're requiring to inhale and with and draw in all that breath you're requiring to relax the brain and the muscles as you're doing those exercises it's very very beneficial both or either of those two things are going to improve your health greatly and of course if you can get to the crux of the issue that what what is causing the stress you know is it a family issue that's causing the stress is it you know gosh it could be a number of things is it workplace related if you can make a change there no matter how dramatic it is you have one life you have one life to make it work so don't allow anyone or anything in your life 
ruin it for you or shorten it for you, there's got to be another avenue. So I'm asking you to just question that, really question that as best you can. If it's really causing you ill health, what can you do to change that? So, you know, these are the things that are really, really important because it can lead to massive depression issues. And then I have seen that firsthand with people that I know and love, where they're living with such chronic stress and, and um, depression that they can't function. And, and when you can't function, um, what, is it, what is it all about? You know, when, when it can be reversed, when it can truly be reversed. It's so doable, so, so doable. So if you need any more advice on that or want to, you know, want to write to me, whatever it is, please do. There's plenty of opportunities to do that. I've got links everywhere. By all means, find me, write, write to me, and I'm very happy to answer any questions you might have about stress or chronic stress. So thank you for joining my episode today, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media plugged in on your screen right now. Thank you and stay healthy, stay happy.